on my way to the Everglades, hopefully to catch a huge Burmese python. Finally made it to the Everglades. Let's hope I can find somebody to uh, tag along with. Oh, telephone. The destination is on your right. 309 Collier Avenue. Everglades City. Arrived Looks at Everglades City Motel. Oh. Everglades City looks deserted. There's a seafood festival in Everglades City in a couple days, so uh, I guess they're setting up for it. Deserted. Today's the tenth, and on the twelfth is the seafood festival. So maybe there'll be some action here. Waterfront bar over there, but there's nobody around. Waterfront villas. River Wilderness. And more places here where they're setting up for the Seafood Festival. So it looks like there's going to be some action for the Seafood Festival, but two days before it's dead. So now i got to find out where my uh, snake charmers are. I drove all the way here from Orlando to uh, find a group of people to uh, hang out with here and uh, look for the Burmese Python for the Burmese Python Challenge. You can read about it on uh, Burley's Python, no, what is it? Pythonchallenge.org, dot O-R-G. There is no action over here. I don't feel like uh, parking anywhere around here and not having anything to do. There's some RV resort or something like that behind that lighthouse. bunch of boats here on the left, fishing boats. Let's see. Oh, and I know they do airboat rides there too. Oops. I stopped at one of the local gas stations over here. Diesel was three dollars a gallon. Back home it's less than two. I used the camp and RV app. And I'm going up to the road up there, that's 41, and to the right, it looks like there's a campsite there. Five miles away. And some information about it. There's the gas station on the left that I stopped at. 
Everglades Seafood Festival is signed about the festival. Across the street from the gas station is the Welcome Center. I guess that would be a good place for me to stop and find out information about this python thing, but oh well. Typical guy, I'm just gonna pass it and try to figure it out myself. Oh, and this must be the sheriff's office here. Entering Big Cypress. Look at that mangroves. Amazing thing is, is I got all my bars. AT&T in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. You're all right. Lots of nothing around here. Hopefully there's going to be some snake people. But I, uh, the season was from January 12th, I think, up until February 14th. And I think they had like uh, 95 snakes they caught up until now. There's a bunch of places around here that have airboat tours and swamp buggy tours. On the left side is the swamp buggies. I don't know if you can see them. And on the right side is the airboat tours. And there's one on the truck there. Big National Cypress Welcome Center. I guess another welcome center. A couple miles away from the first one. Where are the snake people? This looks like a dorm. It doesn't say. Satan would drive. Ooh. Satan. There's my dot coming up close to the campsite, and uh, yes, there it is. I see a bunch of RVs parked over there. So let's go check it out. Hopefully. The Hopefully there's some snake people here. There's a few here. Wildlife check station also. Okay, boat. Boat. Dump station. Oh, nice. <laughs> no trailers. No trailers at a campsite, huh? And why does it say that that is closed? The office is closed over there. Closed. Okay, there's got to be some information around here. No vehicles beyond this point. Oh wait, guess what? My dot didn't make it to uh, to the campsite. This isn't it. Because I'm looking and it says volunteer, volunteer. See, volunteer, volunteer. Everywhere it says volunteer, so this is not even a campsite here. See, it says volunteer. That's not even a campsite. That sign says no vehicles beyond this point. But I ain't going to make this turn. Oh yeah, well, look at that. going sideways my RV that's a way to take care of those tires and I'm stuck shut uh oh I don't want jackknife yeah I can't go I'm going too sharp I guess oh shit There you go, I made it. I might have tore up the lawn a little bit. I was stuck. Everything here says volunteer number eight, volunteer number seven, volunteer number six. So I had to turn around because I'm not at the campsite. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I was at the campsite. I thought this was it. But apparently that's not it. It says Big Cypress National Preserve Volunteer on the sign. I'm laughing to myself because I guess that's why it said no trailers. I gotta look at this video and see what, what the deal was with that. Did I miss something? Deer. Cool. Now I want to 
see a snake. I know where I can find a bunch of alligators, but uh, I don't know where we can find snakes. So I guarantee you we'll see some alligators today. And apparently now there's some uh, crocodile species that are uh, invading the area. World's smallest post office. Got a panther crossing. Blue Crab Cafe, it's closed too, huh? Don't look like we're gonna be finding any snakes. Coming up onto that uh, campsite. What a dummy I was. It says it's less than a mile. Okay, there you go. Campground, quarter mile. Now we're talking. Oh, I've been at this place. Wait, is this it? Yeah, wait, no. Oh, this ain't it. Shh. Shoot, again, I took a wrong turn. Look, see? I'm not there yet. Yeah, but if this is, oh shoot, another friggin' sharp turn. With my big trailer and a lake and a mailbox. And I'm not gonna make it. Back up. Backed up a little bit, and now let's see if I make it. Oh, hey man. Look at those wheels, tires, bending. I need a co-pilot. Look, let's hope that doesn't happen to me right there. Ooh. I guess that's why I said quarter of a mile campground. But if it's the one that I think it is, it's uh, behind a store here. And yes, I think that's it right there. Campground office. Okay, let's go in the office. I've stayed here once before. And the office is closed. <laughs> okay, all visitors must sign in at office. What office? I'll walk up to the gate over there in a second, but I went over there and it was screaming alarms. I ran out of disk space, so I had to go get another disk, but I'll show you that. But anyway, check this out. And that guy over there. Ooh. Okay, we'll see if anybody comes here. Okay, here it goes, watch. Everything's gonna start screaming. There's cameras all over the place. There's one right there. There's some up there. Here it goes. <laughs> Everything's screaming. It keeps screaming. The other one goes on and off, on and off. Let's see if it does it again. There he goes, it's still screaming. Well, all right there, big guy. It doesn't look like anybody's coming. We're gonna have to find another spot. And I don't wanna make any more turns. Okay, this one's not doing me any good. So there's one here that's uh, three miles away. And there's another one that's 10 miles away. Let's check those out. But I guess that's what happens at, uh, what time is it? 5.47. When that thing blinks, that means there's something on the road. There's some kind of sensors around here. Turner River canoe access. No buses. Oh, look at that swamp buggy. Warning, wildlife on roadway, reduce speed, another sign. Oh, no, that's not it. it's a tire or something. Okay, oh, there's another buggy. I should follow that. Oh, that was fire, it said fire on it. That was fire department. Picnic area? Oh, that's the road where you can see a whole bunch of alligators. 
you can see it in my mirror, it's blinking. Something's on a road. I don't know how well they work. We just passed a sign that said leaving wildlife detection area. So there was just, I guess, a little narrow area there that the animals are supposed to know that that's where they're allowed to cross. There's something with a huge wingspan flying to my left here. Oh, there it goes. Panther Crossing. Oh shit, Burns Lake Campground. And I missed it. Oh well. I did more U-turns today than I did driving across the whole country last year. Okay, what is that? That's not for camping. Almost there. Driving across country, it's actually not that hard to get a campsite after uh, five o'clock. A lot of places have a little box with the paperwork there. You just grab the paperwork, it tells you um, where the open, whatever it is, uh, campsite is. You park there, and then you pay in the morning. So it's actually driving easier to drive across country than it was to come to the Everglades. This isn't looking too promising here. Here comes the sign. There you go, Monument Lake Campground. All right, let's cross our fingers here. Ends. Watch this be a little one lane mess again for me. So far it looks good. And uh, where's the office? <laughs> There's the office. Wonder how this place works. Do not enter. Register with camp hosts. Past restaurant. Also, the person probably lives in one of the RVs here. Register with Camp Host prior to selecting site. Camp Host Fast Restaurant. Nice. Where's the restroom? I see your restroom. Look like anybody's here chasing snakes either. Okay. There's the restroom. I got living that pickup. I think that's the restroom. Yes, that's the restroom. So where's the camp post? Look at a doggy. Hello. Yeah, unless there's another restroom. Somebody's living in that van, huh? There's a trailer anybody can pull. Okay, so where's this camp post? There's another restroom, I think, on the other side of the circle. Caution, alligators. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's power here. It's only generators I see. Quiet hours, 10 to 6. There's another caution alligator sign. 
bunch of trailers and nothing to pull them. Campground vacancy. Camp host. There it is. Uh, that must be it. 28 bucks. I got a thing here which I gotta put a check or cash in. Right? Thank you. Now she's gonna go see somebody else over there. And then I gotta put it in the envelope and in the little box over there next to the entrance. Okay, I'm gonna follow her over to number four. I guess she'll take the golf cart. Let's go find number four. What's she collecting water? And I asked one of the ladies about, uh, the other lady that was there, about uh, the Python challenge thing and she didn't know anything about it. She was, oh, it's over. I said, no, it's still going on. Somebody in the tent here? Sheesh. They gotta be cold. See, there's another cute one that I can pull easily. Okay, two, there's four. Okay. You can see the rats. It's been there's no bad. alligators over there, is there? <laughs> it's close to the water. I think you'll be alright. So it's just... So she said it's uh, for one night only and I have to be out of here by noon because she doesn't know if it's reserved for tomorrow. And somebody's living in the trailer there, huh? Look at this. Okay, I wonder if there's any alligators. And there's no hookups, so it's just generator. That's what happened to me last time. Making that turn. I'm on two wheels right now. Right. Home sweet home. Uh, unfortunately, I'm tearing places apart. There's where I had my blowout last year, and I still haven't fixed the side panel there, but I changed the tires. Now I got 14 ply tires, and I have had zero problems with those. This is the first time that I've ever done this. We'll see how it works, but to save some fuel. And it's a little bit quieter, this uh, 2000 versus the 5500 that I have under there. So let's see how that works. Because normally I don't have to plug in all these cables or anything because the generator works out of the inside of this uh, trailer. But since I'm using an external generator, I plugged it in. So let's see how this works. So all I'm going to be running is my computer and a TV. That's it. Well, I was wondering why it sounded funny before because uh, Dummy was not knowing what to do with the choke. There you, there you go. Okay, now it should be kicking. Okay, it's charging my iPhone, but for some reason when I plug this in, it's not working. So I don't know. I had an issue with this. Maybe that's bad. Yeah, maybe that converter is bad. Oh well. This ain't gonna work. Now I got the other generator running, but uh, it's not too loud. Should be fine. Not too annoying. I gotta go pay. Two bad things here. Number one, all that mud goes inside. Number two, that's the step that I'm using because those are screwed up now. Because those are only for like 250 and I'm over 300. And I got some cleaning to do. The way I can tell if the generator is actually working is I look inside through the window and I see that the light is on on the microwave. So that means it's working. Cleaning up and scanning for channels. So far, there's no channels, so we'll see what happens. I might have to put my satellite out. We're up to 10 channels. Yes. Digital ones too. And look who pops up first. It's where he got roaring cheers for his Muslim band. Cunning maneuvering. So who are you voting for anyway? Uh, I mean, it's you know, South Carolina it takes your legs, it's real personal. Wrote a check, now it's time to figure out where to put it. Look at that, this place cleans up pretty well. I don't know, I feel comfortable here. Who needs a house? 
That explains why I got four bars on my AT&T around here. Oh, look at that shot right there. Nice, I love it. Place envelope and slot. There it goes. Auto collisions are the primary cause of death of panthers. Okay, that's the most important one. No swimming, be aware of alligators, that's pretty important. Okay, I guess that's where we are. 49 miles to Naples, 60 miles to Miami. Disconnected, and now I'm gonna go look for, well not snakes, but people that are looking for snakes. So I started driving and I left the camera on the edge of my uh, truck here while I was disconnecting. Nice!